So weather was a really interesting idea where if you're surfing a lot, you want to go down and check the waves every single day because the one day that you don't check the waves, it's going to be the best day and then you have to hear about it from everyone. Originally we just had one stone and it just acted one way on the water and that, that was kind of cool. There was still a lot of variety in what was going on. When you add different fish and different sort of options for the player, they can take advantage of the different attitudes that the water takes on. Yeah, it's been very challenging with fish out of water because we wanted it to be super casual so kids could play it you know, and even play while I'm talking to you and <laughs> giving an interview response. But the game needed to really keep the people who are a bit more hardcore and a bit more invested in the game engaged, so we actually brought a simplified version of the mission system from Jetpack Joyride across. Ah, nailed it! Uh, and so now that I've leveled up, I actually get to select a treasure. So this one's a large red crystal pack, which is great. We heard that people like crafting, and you basically get these different coloured crystals, put them together and it will create a charm. And all of these charms have different abilities, some of them will just add distance or skips to your throw, others will do crazy things. I've gotten a couple of tens in my time, but I've played the game quite a lot. So leagues are the way of, uh, of people separating out into social groups, and they can have that kind of competition where when you beat someone, it's actually meaningful, it's not just a random person on a leaderboard. We tweak it as much as possible and po polish everything so that it, it feels as, as, as good as we can make it. Always when you make a game, you just want people to have fun. So I hope people have fun.